guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Gooseman, and today I'm going to be doing a uh, psychic reading on Sam Smith, and I'll just go ahead and dive into what I see uh, for the remaining of 2018-2019. Um, so when I tune into Sam Smith's energy, there's a lot of things that we're going to be seeing in, in the next within the next uh, two to three years from now. I so the first thing that I see is within his career itself. Um, he has had a lot of success with the first album. The second album's had some some, some success, but I feel like um, he's still kind of struggling, um, you know, with the whole um, star thing, you know, and living up to the expectations that the public may have, um, you know, regarding his music. He loves music first and foremost, but I also feel like he has, you know, tried to use it as art um, and kind of, you know, let people know who Sam Smith is, is really, you know, not just from the direction of producers and people like that, you know, in the Hollywood entertainment that who are giving him instructions on how to look, how to be, uh, etc. I also feel like um, right now he is going through a period where he is needing to be a lot uh, stronger uh, and he is getting that strength from his relationship and I'll go into that slide in a minute. Um, I also get that with Sam Smith that um, he's always struggled with his weight and even though he's got it and maintained and under, you know, to the level where he, he feels most comfortable with, um, he's always going to have issues with his weight. And I feel like, you know, he, it's ridiculous, you know, because I think he was perfectly fine the way he was before, but in the, in the industry that, that they are in, you know, that Sam Smith's in, it's so demanding and you want to be, they want you to be marketable. So I feel like, you know, he had a lot of pressure and it was also a personal decision to get his weight under control and he lost a lot of weight and now he doesn't even look a lot like this old Sam Smith, but, you know, I feel like when he, when I get into Sam Smith's energy, how he handles, um, you know, being nervous uh, or whenever he's, you know, going through something difficult, stressful, how, what, how he handles that is to go, uh, lean towards food. So basically he goes towards, you know, um, is basically eating for comfort. And, um, so I feel like his weight is going to be fluctuating. We're going to be seeing that here in the next two to three years. So he may have some ups and downs where he gains a little weight. I'm not saying he's going to go back to how he looked in the past, which was absolutely fine. But I do feel like there's a, you know, a struggle that he's going through there and also um, a struggle with alcohol. Um, that would be another thing that he needs to really watch. And I feel like it can really affect his voice. Um, I also feel like down the road, he is going to have a lot more uh, vocal issues than we already um, have seen. Um, this album, he kind of, you know, does a lot still with his vocals, but it's a little bit um, more, you know, in different tones and different, um, scales that he's singing, um, you know, than, uh, he did in the past. So I, I feel like vocally he's going to be going through some vocal, um, changes and again, having some problems with his vocals. Uh, you know, we may see him take a, a hiatus again for maybe two to three years, but, um, right now, um, the thing that comes more to the forefront with Sam is his, his love life and that's where he is wanting to have his main focus on so I'm going to go ahead and get into the next slide okay we're going to get into the next slide here okay the next slide here is Brandon Flynn and Sam Smith so when I get into their relationship I feel like um, you know Brandon is about I believe 24 years old Sam Smith is 26 um, even though Sam Smith is a little um, older, you know, by two years, I feel like they're going a little too fast into the relationship. I do feel that they are genuinely in love. I do feel that this is almost like a twin flame relationship rather than a soulmate relationship. And I feel like they've already talked about getting married. That's how serious this thing is and how fast, you know, their um, the relationship is going. It's accelerating. The thing about this is that I, I feel like when it comes into Brandon Flynn's energy is that he's very, um, you know, he can be a little, you know, open-minded, but he is very strict in his beliefs and the way that he sees things. And Sam is more um, carefree, he's a free spirit. So I feel like, you know, there's going to be control issues and kind of like a little jealousy 
between Brandon, you know, seeing how Sam Smith maybe engages with other males. I feel like there, there also could be an element of cheating, um, you know, within the next two years uh, here, you know, their relationship. I feel like there's, there's some things that are not being said by Brandon. Um, and Sam Smith, you know, is, is one that, you know, he was really loving him with all his heart. But, you know, I feel like they are entering a period right now where they're really are thinking and have set like a date more or less to get engaged and, and married. Um, so within the next two years, we, we would probably see Sam Smith um, married. I also feel like there's a lot of struggles around this relationship from maybe other people in Sam Smith's life. Uh, the managers, his friends, people who would know him, you know, that are saying, you know, maybe that he's jumping into this a little too soon as well. And they can see that because he clearly is in love. As you can see, this is like the kiss that they recently shared. Um, but I feel like there's just going to be a lot of uh, disruption in, um, when it comes into their relationship. Even though there's a lot of love right now, I don't see this being a long-term relationship. And it's very sad because I feel it's going to affect Sam in so many ways and throw him into kind of like a, a depression so to speak, and he's not going to, you know, but it's going to help him with his music, of course, but at the same time, he is a human being, and I just feel like these two are not going to really last uh, very long, and I do feel that they possibly, like I said, are contemplating getting married, and I feel like it's coming. We should be seeing an announcement, you know, within the next two years uh, or less, uh, sooner, so anywhere between here and two years, we would see uh, Sam Smith married. Um, but I feel like, again, if he, if, if and when he does do this, Sam, uh, he will want to take some time off, uh, you know, and just kind of take a little breather away from the music industry and kind of focus on their life. Um, I do feel like Sam does want children, ultimately, and he does want to start, you know, a family, even though obviously they, um, they would be either adopting or doing, you know, another form of, uh, but they would have... Uh, some children. I feel like that's where this is all going. Um, I also feel like Sam is struggling, you know, um, with his identity. I mean, he is, you know, a very good singer. He's very, uh, you know, in tune with his sexuality and who he is. But I also feel like there's, um, you know, a struggle between the, the feminine and the masculine side with him. And I feel like, you know, in many cases, he does embrace more the fem feminine femininity, um, you know, that the feminine energy uh, to his soul, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. It's just, you know, who he is and he can't help, help it. Um, but he's a very kind person, but I feel like he's going through some changes, you know, um, you know, mentally and emotionally at the soul level. Um, and a lot of these have been manifesting, you know, in pictures we see him with, with high heels, we see him in dresses, you know, so, you know, it's a lot of questions that he has. Um, I feel like he is going through a phase, you know, it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if at one point, you know, he would come out as a uh, transgender, but again, or, you know, close to that, something, uh, you know, toggling in the lines of that. Um, I also see for Sam Smith that he is going to possibly at one point, point in his career, he will, you know, be doing the hosting of like a show, a music show, either The Voice or X Factor, but there will be like a show where I feel like he is a guest, um, you know, and he's actually either mentoring or he's actually a coach and coaching people um, in their, in music. And so I see him doing that as well. Um, but I feel more like it's it leaning towards, it's going to be a coaching that we will see. I also feel like with uh, Brandon being in acting, uh, in, you know, in Hollywood and that kind of entertainment industry, he is going to pull Sam into acting as well. So we are going to see some, possibly some acting roles uh, for Sam Smith in the next two years. You know, this could be like a guest spot. Um, although I feel like Sam has reservations when it comes to, to that, um, you know, to acting. But I do feel like there is a lot of thoughts and focus on this, um, but mainly, you know, I feel like Sam is really coming into his person, you know, full circle into his soul. And he's living in his authenticity and really, you know, just being who he is. He doesn't really care what others think at the end of the day. He is going to be himself. But again, I do feel like when I tune into him that he just, you know, needs to really think things through, not rush into anything. That's the main message from Spirit at this point is not to rush into 
anything at this point, you know, as far as getting married, it's like a big decision. I just don't feel like they're ready. But again, I feel like that is something that they have been contemplating and talking about. And that's something that we will, sh we shall see more uh, revelations within the next uh, two years for him. But um, overall, I feel like he's going to definitely still have longevity in his career. And I do see him uh, like I said, going into different facets of, you know, music, like I said, acting and TV shows and, um, you know, musical things. But yeah, that's what I see for Sam Smith. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you did like this reading, um, you can always set up a private reading with me and go to my website. That's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Uh, have an amazing day. Blessings of love and light.